Hey guys, this is Connor here with Zen Gear. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a problem that you might have found through search or you came across it in a post or a discussion forum of someone that builds their first PC and that is, as this article states, how to prevent your PC uh, frying your PC from static electricity. Very off the bat, I want to tell you this is very uncommon. Um, and really what it is is electricity always wants to return to ground so when you touch something if you've ever played with a balloon uh, through your hair you know you can shock somebody and that travels through their body to ground so what you basically want to avoid is ways that you could generate electricity through static uh, another word for friction I believe or does friction create static? Yes. And that turns into electricity. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so I've built a few PCs and uh, this is the first video in my build a PC series that hopefully, so if, if you're new to it all and it's a little scary, um, you don't need to worry. It's really simple. So we have a couple tips and this article is great. So I'll link it below. So basically, like with a balloon, if you've ever played with it, you want to do things that uh, don't generate electricity. And how can you do that? So one of the things I can tell you is not to wear socks. Because socks are a really good way, even if, if you've ever been on a carpet and you've like shuffled your feet and shocked somebody, uh, then you know exactly why socks are you know, not recommended. And that's just because they create friction really well and secondly if you have carpet in your house you might want to move the PC to a little area where you have wood or tile just a floor surface that's not um, that doesn't have as much potential to create friction uh, and carpet is really the only surface that's good at that so basically avoid carpets if if you're extra careful um some other things you can do is keep your arm on the pc you can uh that that allows a connection to ground so when you pick up components with one hand you put them in the pc uh you're always connected to ground as long as you touch the case and you can even just touch the case to discharge static before you mess with the component. You know, you don't have to rest on it the whole time. Uh, you can leave your PCU cable connected. So you install your PCU, you install it to that outlet, um, and it keeps it connected to ground so electricity will have a place to travel. And then, of course, you don't want to rub yourself against carpeted flooring you don't want to touch or you do want to touch the ch the case before handling components I went over working on a hard and solid surface because it has less friction and then the fourth or the fifth option is using an ESD mat so I've never used one of those I did have one of these I think like years ago the anti-static wristband and basically that's a piece of metal in there traveling to the alli or the alligator clip you clip this part onto your computer case you hold the wrist um you don't hold it <laughs> you put it around your wrist right and then you can move freely as you're building your pc because there's always a connection to the chassis or the case chassis do they really call it chassis that makes me feel like it's a car but um i just call it pc case Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll link I'll link this article below. And I'll link one of these things. I'll go find one on Amazon. I'm sure they're like ten bucks. If you want to be extra careful, you can do this, and um, that's not a bad idea. I mean, PC components are expensive. It's scary the first time, but really, it's just building. It's just Legos for adults, is what I've heard, and that phrase always stuck stuck in my mind. 
So, like I said, this is the first part of my series. Um, you can follow me along. It's going to be an AMD build, and it's going to be a huge upgrade from this laptop for me, so I'm pretty excited. I'm waiting for pieces to get here and uh, saving up for others. But, yeah, this hopefully this helps dissuade some fears you guys may have. I remember my first time and um, it was a little scary because like you save up all this money, you buy this expensive thing, especially the processor, and you're just like, oh my god, oh my god. But really, it's there's nothing to worry about. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video and uh, yeah, good luck on your build. If you are building something, let me know. Uh, uh, I'll reply in the comments. Adios, guys.